Anthony Satani with Metropolitan Car Liner. On today's episode of Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk about how to repair your Bluetooth after Windows has done an update causing the system to lose communication. The flashing red arrows in the bottom corner of the screen are an indication that the measuring slide is no longer communicating with the computer. Begin by closing the measuring program. In the bottom right corner, we're going to click on the arrow, so it says show hidden icons. Come up, click on the Bluetooth icon. Go to add a Bluetooth device. At the top of the screen, we're going to click add a Bluetooth or other device. Come down and click on Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens, or audio, and other kinds of Bluetooth devices. Make sure your device is turned on. So click the yellow and black target button on the end of the measuring slide. Check that the LED light is flashing above the button. So once the COLMS pops up, I'm going to click. The pin number is the six-digit number located at the end of the name. For this particular system, the pin number is 514669, although it is different for every measuring system. Once your device is ready to go, close the two windows that are open. Come down to the bottom left, click on the Windows logo. Scroll down to the Vision 2 folder. Come down and click on the Vision 2 Diagnose Program. Once the program opens, you'll notice the number of transmissions or the number of times that it tried to talk to the measuring slide continue to count. The number of OKs sits at zero and the number of errors is counting up. Click on the auto search button to scroll through the different COM ports on the computer. While it may look like nothing is happening, the computer is scrolling through all the different ports. Sometimes it may take three to five minutes before you see the number of OKs start to count and the transmission quality begin to go up. Once the number of OKs begins to count and the transmission quality begins to rise, we can close out of the diagnose program. You do not need to wait for the transmission quality to reach 100%. To verify that everything is working properly, open up your Vision 2 program, click on existing work orders, go back into your last work order, and we can go directly into the measuring mode. So our screen has popped up to wake up all of our sensors, indicating that the measuring slide is now communicating with the system again. We can wake up the sensors and proceed on like usual. For any questions, feel free to contact your local distributor or go to carliner.com for more information.